Minecraft. Minecraft. All right. So, yeah. Welcome to Minecraft. Um, this is this is Austin. our new server. We're on a new server. I'm Dan, of course. Austin. The, we're both Adolfs. Storm. Yeah, we're both Hitler. <sighs> it's really lovely. Um, I, so. We kind of had a little bit of a series going, but we never uploaded anything because the mods were really shitty because we were using TechIt. So there was no forestry and no logistics pipes and stuff. And so I decided I was done with that and we were going to go to a new server in which we can have things like miscraft and forestry and stuff. So I put together a mod pack. Uh, so we're no longer Bucket, but we're SMP, which is nice. Um, so this is a whitelist server. Um, we'll get more people on it. But for the first couple episodes, it'll probably just be us. The biggest thing that we have is Miscraft. Um, it allows us to use different worlds. Um, and you can actually chunk load them. And you can choose how to build your world, which is nice. Um, we also have, let's see here, Red Power 2, uh, Build Craft, Industrial Craft, uh, Iron Chest, Forestry. Um, I don't think, I, don't, I didn't put Computer Craft on here. We might add that later. It, it doesn't add any ore generation or any world stuff, so... It wasn't that big of a deal if I didn't add it right away. Uh, Railcraft. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, we have a beta for the uh, logistics pipes SMP, uh, which is what we really wanted. Um, let's see, it's more forestry, more equivalent exchange, uh, and then more industrial craft. So, among other little mods like the advanced machines and the compact solars and stuff like that. Um, so, that's my little introduction on how we did it. Um, we have the mods uh, that, you know, if, if someone needs to get on the server, we can distribute the mods to them. Um, so, yeah. So, we've already kind of laid out the spawn area. None of this was done legitimately. Uh, using These are all using the candles from uh, Forestry, which are really cool because you can put them out if you right-click on them. And then if you right-click on them again with foot and steel, it'll relight them. They produce the same amount of light as a torch, I believe. But we've got the rules set out. So, do not grief. Uh, main world is for shared resources. Use miscraft to create your own worlds. If it sounds like a dumb idea, don't do it. Many of the mods are beta. Don't bitch if shit doesn't work. Uh, don't be a tard. Uh, and when making a new age... I'm looking we at you, Rusty. Ugh. Ugh. And leave the number in the age. So, uh, yeah. So if you follow the little pathway here... Um, underneath these fence posts are interdiction torches that prevent mobs from getting close. Um, we have a red power volcano in the background. And Beautiful. then we have our library. And library is where we create miscraft ages. Now this whole structure is basically just set up for the time being. We may decide to make one whole community world and then have everything else become a... Uh, or have other worlds as a resource collection place so you don't mess with the overworld. And, uh. Yeah. So I made the library. Um, I was bored last night, and so I made the library. It's so nice. Um, we already have linking books to a Nexus that I made, so it's where you keep all your miscraft books. And then. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, we have a linking book to the Nether as well. Uh, since it's considered an age within Miscraft, and so is the end, which is nice. So that link book will take you to a structure I built in the Nether that has a linking book back to right over there. Um, so the first thing you want to do, Dan, uh, he doesn't know how to use Miscraft. So, yeah, of course I don't. So uh, we have a chest full of books and a chest full of feathers. Um, Diamond chest. You want to grab two books and a feather. And I believe these write these are writing desks here. Um, they allow you to write your age, and I believe that they're um, hmm. like if I put a book on here, it'll show you what's going on. So what you want to do is in your um, crafting table, craft those two books and the feather together, and you'll get one linking book and one descriptive book. Descriptive book, linking book. And then a linking book. So that linking book will um, take you back here to the overworld. Um, you need to have those. Uh, whenever you travel to a Miscraft age, you need to have a linking book. Um, thing about Miscraft is it does have instability in its ages, meaning um, to write 
a stable age, it has to have certain things attached to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my book in this writing desk. And you should be able to see what I'm doing. Yep, I see it. All right, so this will be um, the living age. And that was age 53. So as you can see over here on the other side, you can write what biomes, how the biomes are laid out, how the lighting is, how the sky is, the terrain features, the terrain generation, the time, weather, and the world modifiers. Um, so for this one, we're just going to do um, a standard medium biomes, which is how Minecraft pretty much generates all of its biomes. Um, I'm just going to put the basic biomes in there. Um, so basically, beach forest. Um, we'll do a jungle. Um, forest. No ocean. Plains. Yeah, I got forest in there. Uh, uh, river. And taiga. Swampland. I don't want taiga. So that's a basic one. It's desert, forest, jungle, plains, river, and swampland. Um, it's really cool. That sky biome um, is actually the end. Uh, so you can actually generate multiple ends. Wonderful. Lighting, we'll do a standard lighting. Uh, sky is fun, but I think we're going to do just standard stuff. Where's standard? Is anywhere? Here we go. Normal fog, normal sky color, and... Look, train White features. clouds. Yeah, train features. Train features. So we can put caves. Um, do we want to put crystals? There, they like to create portals to other Mistcraft ages. I think we'll have a world dedicated to crystals, so we don't want them. Uh, dungeons, um, lakes, lava lakes, mine shafts. We don't need obelisks. Ravines are nice. Uh, star fissures are good. Uh, star fissures will allow uh, if you accidentally get stuck in a world. Uh, if you jump into a star fissure, it'll take you back to the overworld. Um, what it, what hap What's cool is if you actually get stuck in an age, you can actually work your way back to the overworld. If you didn't put a star fissure in it, um, you can make a descriptive book and just go to it and it'll randomly generate these features. Uh, it's nice to be able to write them because we can ensure that there's no corruption in the world. So well, I'll put a star fissure in a stronghold. Villages, um, that's good. And what's cool about them is, like, if I put 27 village symbols, it'd be a very dense villages. It, it just it generates them on top of each other. Wonderful. I might have um, to try so that. We'll, yeah. So we'll do standard terrain. Um, I think we'll make it an eternal day. Uh, no weather. Let's see here. No weather. And world modifier is we're going to do none. So you can accelerate the world modifier, meaning everything in the world will be fast. Charged, meaning uh, all the creepers will be charged. All the um, zombie or all the pigs will become zombie pigments, stuff like that. Dense ores is fun. Um, that automatically will cause corruption in the age. Uh, but if you can get a quarry down and get you know a few layers off the quarry, you, you have immense amount of resources. So I think we might do that for one of our quarry ages. And then Skylands is cool. It creates like islands everywhere in the sky and it, no better rock. It's all void. But we're not going to do any of that. So there is our living age. So now what I'm going to do, um, we need to get a link book stand. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop down one of these trees. I should have put link book stands in that chest over there. I wasn't thinking. God damn it. I know. I saw. Yep, oh, and, uh, in the meantime, my side, they see me making the bumfuck age. The bumfuck age? What are you going to do with it? Uh, um, just so you know, corrupted ages uh, make lag, so don't make too many of them. Don't worry, it's only uh, ice mountains and uh, okay stuff. Um, also, the wrong amount of biomes will get you. So if you put a single biome, but you put two biomes in there, it'll cause corruption. If you put checkerboard biomes and put three biomes or one biome, uh, it creates issues. What about huge biomes? Uh, those how you need anywhere between three and a thousand. All right, I have four. I'm good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put a crafting Eternal table. Time. Eternal Which snow. Right there. World modifier. So I have two link book stands. 
Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to the Nexus and place your book down. So the Nexus here, if you right click on it and then click the black box, you'll teleport. Pew. Ah, I'm inside so this you. This is a void age, so you can make oh. void, oh, and it makes that... nothing, no bedrock. Oh, the, the light hurts. It burns into my corneas. <laughs> oh. I, did, I did all white generation to make it a bright age. Oh, oh this, this hurts. <laughs> Not so to I'm mention put... the lag. I'm getting one frame a second. Are you really? Yeah, I was getting one frame a second about a second ago. Oh, so that there's hurt the living my age. eyes so much. So I'm going to go to the living age and see what it looks like. How do I make one of these things again? Link book stands, it's um, three wooden planks and then two sticks above them on the edge. God damn it. And while this generates, lags me a little bit, but here we go. So already I have a star fissure. If you want to come to my world, I have my star fissure. Hoppity, hop, hop, Before I forget, i um, get a link book. Back to the overworld. Set up. And you can also do them handheld as well, the link books. Um, so you can right click on them, but they drop. And then you don't keep them with you unless you create a following book, which we'll get into later. So there's Swamp. I got some rubber trees over there. Excellent. The fuck is this? Oh, it's one of those beehives. Yeah, that's forestry. So this is the star fissure. If you jump into this, it'll take you back to the overworld. This looks like fun. I'm gonna jump in. Fuck you, Minecraft! <laughs> and we're back at spawn. <laughs> Isn't that right. cool? That's pretty cool. So that's how you get back to the overworld if you get stuck in an age that uh, has a star fissure. Um, as you can see, the monsters can't get near us because of the interdiction torches. Fuck you, spider. <laughs> All right, so I need one of those stands for my bum fuck age. Here, I'll make you. Um, I'll give you my wood. Dig that it. sounded very sexual. It was. Uh, you're gonna need. <laughs> you're gonna need some more, because you need two link. You need two link book stands. I need two link book. Because oh, you have to. Pull, you need one to put your descriptive book and one to put the. Uh, can I just have a star fissure in one of my worlds? Sometimes they don't like to generate. And it's a lot better if you have a link book. Because then you can always teleport back to here. And you teleport back to wherever the link book was made when you make a link book. So you can teleport anywhere within your age or uh, in the overworld. Oh my god, there is a spider above me. You fucking bastard. Cheeky ass bastard. Don't worry. Oh shit. You can't get back. <laughs> uh, fuck so you. underneath each of these posts that have, uh. Oh! Ah, he's flying. Oh, he flies. <laughs> I love interdiction torches. The fuck is going on? <laughs> I think that's what the spider's wanting. He's wondering. having a seizure. Alright, give me a mo. Give me more wood. Alright. Um, let's do this. Sticks and dicks and sticks, sticks, sticks. Yay, link book stand. There we go. Um, into the nexus. I'm cool. I'm gonna put mine at the edge. And then just right click on it with the descriptive book. Bum fuck age. Come on. <laughs> oh, there it went. Oh shit. What? What did you do to this age? Not much. It's snowing. Yeah, I know. Th this is a, uh,. Does it have eternal snow on it? Eternal snow, it has all of the frozen things on it, and it's dark sky and everything, except it's really bright, so nothing spawns. Did you put put a bright age, but a dark sky? Yeah. Is it eternal day? I don't think so. This is kind of cool. It'd be a good place to find frozen beehives for when we do bees. 
God. I'm getting lag. Alright, so I guess that's where I put the overworld book. Oh, I'm gonna be fucked trying to find my way back. How are they swimming down there? Because <laughs> there's only a single layer of ice. Under that, it's water. Oh, this is going to get really annoying. Eternal snow. I thought that this was a good idea. No, I don't exactly think the same. But hey, at least we can be uh, like robots hiding in our uh, little hut. Oh, yeah, well, I plan to do all my living in the living age. Well, as cool as Miscraft sounds, I'm sort of thinking that if we do have a more community-oriented server, that we should migrate everything to a singular world, so we're not, well, excluded from the daily activities of our fellow uh, Minecrafters. Minecrafters. Yep. So, for now, I guess this works. But well, and the nice thing is, you know, if you need an age that's specifically something like, oh, I need some mycelium from, you know, whatever, you know, you can make yourself a mushroom biome. Uh -huh. And that's what's nice about it. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm just walking. Oh, I'm going to go back to the overworld and uh, well, start I saw, to live in I saw in a huge-ass floating mountain. Here, teleport to me. No, we're, we're legit. <laughs> Teleport to me. I found a motherfucking floating cliff. Fucking Harper. Oh, look, look. I found a uh, beehive. I'm cold. <laughs> this tree's keeping me warm. Not exactly. I'm gonna hide under here. If, if I had to make a house, this would be where I'd put my house. Right under here. Oh my god. He is ruined. He is... Yeah. Oh my god, there are monsters beyond monsters here. Here, eat dick. Where'd he go? Son of a bitch. Oh fuck, now I lost my way. Um, I'm just gonna walk back and hope that I can find my way back. <clears throat> I'm at the link book if you uh Oh, here here's that faggot carrying his grass block. Nope, 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 nope. Stay away from me. Shit. Shit. I'm about to starve to death, too. Yeah, I'm getting there. That's why I'm gonna head to my age and, uh, kill some fucking cows or something. Oh, there's a shit ton of cows on this hill. I wish we had Flans mods that I could be a full-on Eskimo. Yukon brother. I don't know. We can put Flans mods on here. If they're SMP. Yeah, I, think I mean we have we have seemingly are. infinite block IDs. Yep. Oh my god. No. Thanks no. to uh Forge. Oh. So Ow. we found out that Forge has the four thousand ninety six block fix in it. Um which I didn't know. I thought that was a separate mod that only worked on single player because I'd only ever seen it on single player servers. Or single player games. So Finding it in multiplayer uh, in Forge was super cool. Oh yeah, just a prior note, or a note for a future uh, reference. We're going to be making a cow fucker, pig fucker, whatever, whatever we used to make back in our legit worlds, we're making one of those. <laughs> Alright, well I found a nice place to live. It's on the edge of the swamp biome, so there's, there's a jungle biome in the distance. I hate swamp biomes. Yeah, but they're really good for rubber trees. They're really good for rubber trees, but... I don't... Oh, son of a bitch, now I lost my way. I will have no chance finding my way back. Um... That's why we need to make following books and inter-age books to the overworld. That way you can have them in your inventory and they follow you. That's, that's for oh, later. Oh shit, I almost fucking fell to my death. Almost. That's a bad idea. Really bad idea. I don't recommend falling to your death. It doesn't work that well. Nope. So aside from Minecraft, what other game plays can we expect to be put out in the next week? 
I'm not sure at this point. I don't know. We should probably do some uh, trouble in terrorist town. That's seemingly popular at the moment. Yeah. You've been trying to get me to play that. I guess I'll play it. Well, it's interesting because if... Do I have Gary's mod installed? I think you do. I think we played that about a week ago. Oh, uh, maybe. It might have been on my old installation when I reformatted about a month ago. Oh, but, like, we played legit, like, a week ago. Oh, well, then I probably have it. My age is, like, littered with cows. This is really nice. I have three raw steaks. And I have no I idea nine. where the fuck my, uh, book is. The link book, <laughs> link book is. Yep, so I'm just gonna skip across the ice. I need cobble. I need it now. It's my money and I need it now. I hate those commercials. Yep. Alright, well, I'm just gonna start a mine right here. Please, where the fuck is my link book? I guarantee you, it's in one of the simplest spots. I know exactly where it is. I and watched you place it. I know where it is, too. Oh, well, I, I found my way back to it. Well, you see, I went way too far. I think I went diagonally. So, if anything, I probably passed under some bullshit. Oh, my God. Where the fuck could I possibly have placed it? See, um, yeah. So, the majority of this episode of is, of course, going to be me trying to find my way back. <laughs> and, uh, Dan's a tard. That's that, gonna be the, I think that, that needs to be the, uh, the title of your first video. <laughs> Yep. Let's let's play Minecraft uh, Survival. Dan's a tard edition <laughs> with the uh, Dan and uh, Austin. Dan's a tard. Yep. Are we gonna upload these to the same channel? My way, people oh, I already choose have. which point of view. Oh yes, I found it. Yeah. I don't have a way to cook these now. I guess I could use the wood, but. But yeah. Um. We're going to uh. Up. Lag, lag, we're in the air, lag. <laughs> oh, I see the server sent a check to you. It looks like you teleported. Um, that's probably just telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> are you still, are you still lost? Nope. Now you found your way back? Yep. Do you want to hop into my age? No, yeah, no, I'm doing that right now. Um, yeah, I see you off in the distance there. Um, I'm over by the swamp, I am. I see you. I see you floating. So yeah, Dan's a tart, but he found his way back. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Don't need to send okay. out a search and rescue team for me. Charcoal. Now that'll do eight cooks. Excellent. Oh boy. So we got lots of rubber trees. Um, I was going to build over there on those planes over there. Mm -hmm. um, let me build a pickaxe. I don't have enough wood. Come on. What the fuck? Oh no. Excellent. Alright, I'm gonna need a shovel at some point. So, I've got all the mods generating ores, so we actually have more ores than usual. Wonderful. Because I've got... <coughs> oh shit, that's lava. That, kids, is why you never dig straight down. <laughs> Thank god I wasn't, too. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna abandon this mine shaft and do one elsewhere. But I'm gonna get this copper and uh, copper. That's copper. That's copper. But they're two different textures because one of them is uh, the lighter one was red power. Which, by the way, um, if you make a miscraft age that has caves as its generation type, it uses another generation algorithm. Um, Sometimes it'll bug out with red power, and Marvel generation will like fuck up the the world, which is wonderful. So, yeah. So, and that's neither uh, an issue with 
um, red power, nor is it an issue with miscraft. It's kind of the two of them working together. It's not any mod's fault. Um, but the thing is, when XCOMP made miscraft, he introduced a whole new strew of things to Minecraft that had never been done before. And so that created a lot of issues on the other mod sides because they didn't take into account for that because it had never been done before. I mean, he has that. Vines. Why? Because I'm going to use that as my ladder. Excellent. How the fuck do you get vines? You need a pair of shears. Fuck me. So you need iron, which we don't have any yet. Cow, fuck you. It's all your fault. I'm no longer hungry. Yep, ain't that wonderful. And I have a hat. Now you have a motherfucking hat. That's right, bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. That was my only way on getting up. Alright. What'd you do to the top of that tree? Don't ask. It's my house. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't think I put inventory tweaks or the mini map into the mod pack. Um, so if you want those, just pop them into the instance. Mm -hmm. They're standard installation. It's going to be nice to make a tree farm. And we'll have logistics pipes so we can actually... And we have Buildcraft 3, because I found a developmental build for that on the uh, Buildcraft Jenkins. Which is really nice. I think we're using Buildcraft 316 Build 51. I think that was the one that I had to use because of logistics pipes that needed 51. Because it's a uh, logistics pipes is for Buildcraft 3 on SMP. And plus I wanted uh, logic gates and lasers. Well, I couldn't get my fucking uh, laser builders to work, so that sucked. Like that's the only good part for, uh, uh, about Buildcraft Three, in my opinion. Hmm. It's gonna look like I'm on drugs or something. Why? Just the way I'm building this. Alright, I started a new mine thanks to that lava pool. I found some industrial craft, but copper. But what's cool is with Forge, it allows us to use these all together in the same machines. Wonderful. Because they're all recognized as copper. Or tin. Or what's the other one? Silver. Ooh, appetite. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm s supposed to be doing. <laughs> Starting out in Minecraft, hitting trees. Yeah, well, that's usually it's the, what you, the standard. Yeah, that's usually what we do, but we've been doing it for so long. This is what the third or fourth rendition of a, a server that you and me have tried to do for the sole purpose of a let's play. They've all been on one two five, kind of interestingly. Oh, well, we had the yeah. other server that was on, what was it, on 181 Beta? That was a long time right. ago. That was the last time we custom made a map pack, or a mod pack. Well, let's see. When I contacted all of you guys and uh, asked if you guys wanted to play Minecraft, was 1.7.3. That's the first mod pack. And 1.8 came out, and I was skeptical, and 
I didn't update immediately, and then all of a sudden, bam, uh, all the mod support came out for 1.8. So, uh, 1.8 beta, we, uh, that was the last beta rendition of our, uh, server. Then, uh, I guess we tried out the server legit once on, uh, just, uh, the full game, and that didn't play out so well, so... Because he wants to play vanilla, legit. That was boring. Like, at least with the mods, it makes it fun. It gives you a goal, but when it's vanilla, it doesn't really have a goal to it. Well, it vanilla does have a goal. It's like, build a house and then, uh, make it, like, really cool and get diamonds and stuff, but then, uh... Yeah, but, I mean... With the techniques that we can use for mining these days, you know, as far as strip mining and stuff like that, I mean, you can get diamonds in an hour. Yep. But now, uh, with mods, it sort of repurposes everything, where uh, diamonds aren't the most important thing, say, a uh, quantum suit or a uh, red matter. Or... Yeah, and that, that makes it a lot more fun, because it's like... Okay, well now I have a, another goal. I mean, I, once I once you get diamonds in regular Minecraft, it's like okay, whatever. Stick your resin. Cause, yeah, there's, there's a lot of rubber trees around my uh, tree house. That's a good thing. Let fucker cow stop running away from me. Oh, God damn it. Exp nom nom nom. I'm about to die. Here, you want some food? Do you have... Actually, I have wood, so I'm just going to uh, collect Here. mushrooms. Here. I'm collecting mushrooms. Leave me alone. Then get the beef! Alright, I'll make myself an actual meal. Mushroom soup's good. Especially since we have both kinds of mushrooms. Make sure to save one of those so you can grow it into a big mushroom and get more. Because red mushrooms are more, uh, more rare. Don't worry, we have like a huge fucking... Uh, Though they are common in swamp biomes. I stand corrected. I don't see any of the red ones. I think there's some over there. I just collected five of them. Or six so. of them. I don't see many more. I'll look another beehive. Is it a swamp beehive or a jungle beehive? Uh, it looks like a swamp beehive. Cool. Jungle bees are fun because they produce propolis. It sounds like some kind of weird disease. They pro it's um, in this version of forestry. It has the mail system. It lets you produce letters and stuff like that. So I guess you can only place mush specific mushrooms in a uh, specific light levels. I don't know what's up with that. I was having issues with that when I was playing single pl or multiplayer with uh, someone else. I was having issues placing the mushrooms. And I don't know if it's just light level or if I'm being retarded. It's probably a little bit of both. Do you want mushroom stew? I'm good. I'm full. I'm full hunger. I have four mushroom stews. Those heal and um, mushroom stew. The EMC and mushroom stew is worth more than the, uh, the ingredients that go into it. So let's see, thirty-two, thirty-two, six. So I'm looking at actually no, that's straight on so it's equivalent to the exact same amount of of ingredients so not really making or losing anything I don't know but the uh, mushroom stew farms that's right they work because of mushrooms because you can have infinite mu mush mushrooms on mushrooms yep you can just right click on them with a I got the ployer Right click. I forget, I forget how to do that. EMC right click. Out, okay. <laughs> you can always get infinite mushroom stew from them. Just right click on them with a bowl. Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm. I'm gonna start a farm. That's oh, probably okay. one of our top priorities. Fuck you, flax. And since we don't have kitchen bitch, a kitchen bitch is a uh, great loss to the team. Especially since he's from PLA, and PLA can eat dick. And that's information that uh, 
Shouldn't be this closed. Well, I don't give a shit. I yep, well. This mining is so exciting to YouTube, I'm sure. I probably have like three viewers at this point. I have two subscribers. One is Kitchen Bitches th and the other is Shaft. Oh, well, then we can definitely talk about Kitchen Bitch. Yeah. So let's I'll see. Iron. I try, well, at least my mindset is to be extremely involved with my viewers, even if I do become extremely popular, which is highly unlikely, but, you know, it might happen. Possible. I, <laughs> I try to interact. I'm like, mem er, just remembering all the details and it's like oh look I got a comment somebody says I suck I'm like thanks for the comment that's your I need uh there's a lot of ores yeah I got a shit ton on me yeah there was a uh, chunk failure that I just looked down and uh was ores on all sides pretty much spaced out perfectly all right, we have eight seeds. That should be enough. Um, I um, I generated a world in Tech at once, and I uh, used World Edit to edit out all the stone and stuff, and just left the ores just to see like ore patterns. It was really cool. Oh, then you get to see the uh, random algorithm. Yeah, the ore generation patterns and like how common they are it was really interesting. Oh, I if you ever really play vanilla minecraft you basically learn the uh, spawn patterns of diamonds it's like oh it's in this certain region it's uh usually spawns around this type of ore um stuff like that do we have anything that can pick up water um i have iron with a bucket you know i wish that you could pick up water with a a bowl why be so much easier. Oh my god, there are so many chunk failures going on. Server's not having any issues. I'm looking at the console. It's fine to me. Yeah, it's. And not to mention my frames are going to shit. That's unfortunate. It is going. It is extremely unfortunate. Um, now they're back again. Shit, my pickaxe is almost dead. Damn it. Do I have any wood on me? Of course you do. I have just enough. Just a crafting enough. table. Just enough to make a crafting table. Fuck you, saplings. Is there any ores in there? I should make a my man pants man pants referring to the leather leather I man, pants I have a man hat <sighs> it's a leather hat oh son of a bitch I don't have enough I guess I could do a man Needs hat seven yep nope. it's too off I'm like eh doesn't make sense watch this this is going to give me enough for my man pants Eight dick. Did I finally get all the ores here? I know, I, I sound so ungrateful. Yay. EXP. Ugh. <sighs> Nom, so if nom, that nom. does any justice to my frames. No, oh, that did absolutely fucking nothing. If anything, what? it just killed it. I switched the graphics from fancy to fast. In my experience, it doesn't work too well. Um, doesn't exactly Stop. matter. You're such a retard. <laughs> totally. 
What's at the treehouse? I don't know. I built it, and I'm like, fuck yeah. Told me. Yeah, it's just big enough. There's basalt over here. You can make basalt house again after cooking up all that basalt. That was a bitch. That was horrible. Here, do you have a... Make me a bucket, please. Um, hang on. We'll use tin since we have more tin than we have iron. Alright, then. Let's see. We'll use that kind of tin. Do I have no coal? I use all to make torches. It's all right. I'll use. Do you have any coal on you? Oh no, we have coal. I didn't use it all. Thought I used it all. That'll cook at eight ten. Balls are stackable. Yay! Do you know that in one point three buckets are stackable? Yeah, I saw. That's that excites beautiful. me a little bit. It entices you to uh, upgrade just a bit more. I see a nice little water source over there. Yes, I'm gonna the iron. <sighs> there we go. Ten bucket. 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 Well, what happened? What? Um, I think I put it. I think I put it into e NEI and it destroyed it. So I don't feel the least bit guilty about respawning it. <laughs> there we go. Because I right. put it on that side of my screen and it put it into NEI. I see. All right, I am off to collect. I should probably turn NEI um, off of cheat mode and into recipe mode. Much better. Now if I click on stuff, it doesn't give it to me. And now it just tells you to go fuck yourself. Something like that. Aw, oh, I fucked up the water. What'd you do? I fucked up the water. How'd you do that? You take... Oh, uh, did you take block. a water source block that wasn't, uh, that had that water source block underneath it? Yeah. Why did I take damage when I fell into here? Because it's only one layer of water. It doesn't, shouldn't matter. Any amount of water will stop you from taking damage. Actually, it's only two, two or more. I thought it was one. Not one. Because I've done it into one and it doesn't damage me. It depends. Cool. Um, I meant to get this iron. It's going to slowly provide us a uh, steady food source. Yep. Don't want to step on that. Anyways, um, I think that's just about wrapped up for this episode. Stay tuned if you like listening to the boring start. If you don't like uh, boring stuff, what we're doing right now, and you're watching this in the future, then just skip ahead like five episodes or something. Um, thank yeah, you for watching. We might include annotations to like, this is where it gets exciting when we maybe do something. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like more. Like and uh, comment because I will always reply, even if you call me a complete chode. Um, you are. <laughs>